Hi, Ann. Good morning. Hi, Carrie. Nice to see you. Oh, I think you're on mute. That's okay. All good. How you doing, Ann? Hi, David. Good morning. Good morning. I had to unmute here. Morning. Morning. Great to see you. We'll get started in just a couple minutes. Oh, if you have, um, and I'll announce it again, but if you have, um, you know, a, a yoga mat, a bolster, uh, anything comfortable that's going to let you you know, either sit or lay down for a little bit, uh, you know, have that out for yourself so that way you can relax. Good morning, everyone. Um, I think I put everybody on automatic mute, so um, you're muted upon entry. Uh, that way, too, if anybody else shows up a little bit late, um, they won't, uh, our practice won't be impacted by them. But um, just a little bit. All right. Well, it's eight o'clock, and uh, if you know me, you know that I like to start on time. So um, we'll have, go ahead and get into our practice today. First off, thanks everyone for being here. Uh, I'm grateful for your presence, uh, grateful for this time that we get to practice together. And uh, thank you for being open to these types of practices. Uh, one thing for sure that uh, I've become aware of the longer that I practiced yoga is that there's something about the breath and whether it's uh, just slow exercise and breathing, uh, learning to calm our nervous systems, learning to calm anxiety and worry, um, or you can use the breath to amplify and increase strength as well too. And I wanted to take a little bit of time to just demonstrate and uh, show you um, some help that we can essentially get if we need to. I'm going to pull up a website. So last week, if you joined me, um, I talked a little bit about searches on breath. And I know that, for instance, uh, my friend Claire is on right now, and, and she's getting into psychology and therapy. But all of us, you know, have the power to be gentle therapists to each other without necessarily any over-the-top training, although that is important for some specialties. But just being curious and asking questions like, you know, how does the breath help me in this exercise? Or how does the breath help me here? Um, what you can do is you can go online 
there's a website called, and you can see where my cursor is, the NCDI. Um, that's one website. There's another website called PubMed, uh, which publishes a whole bunch of medical studies. Some are peer reviewed, some aren't peer reviewed, some have large study cohorts, some have smaller study cohorts. Uh, for this one in particular, because my mother passed away from cancer, um, I've been working with cancer patients for a long time now. And uh, one thing that I find that is profound is the use of breath through treatments of cancer, whether it is in the terminal stage or uh, the remission stage or um, uh, chemotherapy stage. And uh, one that I just pulled up, it was a very quick search, um, is yoga breathing for cancer chemotherapy. I have several clients right now that are going through chemotherapy. And so working with them on breath work is valuable. And I want to share this with you because this is something that you can just, you know, look in for yourself. You can search. And then if you want to, you can forward it. Um, how to read studies. And before we get into the breath work, I want to just talk about this a little bit, because sometimes when we pull up a study, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Uh, so not everyone has a biology degree or a background in wanting to know this stuff. But I find that we can look for the information pretty quickly. It is important not to necessarily lean into confirmation biases, because sometimes if we have a confirmation bias and we're just specifically searching for one thing and only looking for that. But uh, for an example in this, you know, typically most studies will have the basic abstract. You have a background, objective, design, setting, subjects, and then it'll go into the actual study itself, the introduction, why they're doing it, conclusions, results. And one thing that they found in this smaller group of individuals that were in chemotherapy was that if we just go down to first the background, many debil debilitating symptoms arise from cancer and its treatment are often un uh, unrevealed, unrelieved by established methods. Pranayama or you know, breath work, working with the breath is a series of yoga breathing techniques which may improve cancer related symptoms and quality of life. Now, this stuff should be studied further. And um, what they found, though, was through the results of this, this class attendance was nearly 100% in both groups. 16 participants were included in the final intent to treat analysis. The repeated measures analysis demonstrated that any increase in pranayama dose with dose measured in the number of hours practiced in the class or at home resulted in improved symptoms and quality of life. So a lot of times when someone's going through something like cancer treatments or a surgery or uh, some sort of procedure, anxiety starts to show up. The mind starts to get busy. We start to freak out a little bit. That's those moments where when that takes place, cortisol is getting released in the bloodstream. Um, oxytocin is getting released. Adrenaline is getting released. And this can start to lead into fatigue inside of the body. And so what we can do is recognize those symptoms of when we're starting to get anxious or worry or recognizing someone else. We can place our hand on their back and we can sit with them and just teach gentle breathing methods. And uh, in this particular one, um, they focused on long, slow, deep breathing. Now, we're going to be doing a variety of different breaths today, but I just wanted to use this particular study as an example. Now, you'll see at the bottom, yoga breathing was a feasible intervention among patients with cancer receiving chemotherapy. Pranayama may improve sleep disturbance, anxiety, and mental quality of life. A dose response relationship was found between pranayama use and improvements in chemotherapy associated symptoms and quality of life. These findings need to be confirmed in larger study. Now, the issue with a larger study is that who's going to fund this stuff? Um, typically, because there isn't necessarily an incentive, and I don't want to say every medical thing is by profit, but because there's not an incentive by profit for it, it's harder sometimes to run these larger studies. And it's just sort of the isness of it. But what we can do is practice it in our own lives, experiment with it, see if it works. And if it does work, then, you know, maybe start talking to people about it and add to that. So I hope that makes sense for everyone. Um, again, just wanted to use this simple study as an example. I'm going to stop share here and go back to my screen. And let's go ahead and get into our practice. So I'm going to go over to my mat. And we're going to start laying down today. If you need any tissue nearby or anything like that, feel free to have tissue nearby. 
And let's lay down on our backs. You can bolster your head if you'd like. And let's place our left hand over our hearts. And let your right hand rest on the belt. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Let the collarbones spread. Let your spine release down towards the ground. And as we arrive into our practice, let's begin first by just letting go of our day, letting go of the things that we have planned for the day. Trust that all will unfold as it should. And as we begin to connect to our breath, just notice how the breath is showing up for you. Meaning we have the body, we feel the breath moving in and out of it. And now all we begin to do is observe. We begin to witness the body breathing. Observe how the body naturally breathes on its own through the depth of the breath, through the pace of the breath and the balance of the breath. And then let's slowly begin to breathe together. Through the nose, please take a long, slow breath in, breathing down the spine into your lower belly. And on the exhale, we let it go. Through the nose, inhale, we breathe down our spine into our lower belly. Exhaling out the nose, try not to force it. Inhaling through our nose, breathing down the spine into our lower belly. Exhaling out the nose, the navel drops down. Inhaling, breathing down our spine through our noses, belly rises, chest expands. And exhale, letting it go. Three more times, in and out through the nose, inhaling. Exhaling. Two more, inhale. Exhaling. And one more. Inhaling. And exhale. Continue to breathe like this on your own. About a five to six second inhale. And then about a five to six second exhale. As you meter your breath, take a moment and then just check in with your physical form. How is your body feeling today? How did it wake up this morning? Was there stress in it? Was there tension? Was there tightness? Was there soreness and balance? We call this performing a fit check 
And all we're doing is just checking on the physical fitness of the body today. How are we fitting into our bodies? As we move deeper into our practice, we'll stay with the breath. We'll let go of what we can. In some of these breaths, we may experience a little panic or anxiety because they're new to us. Let us try to relax as much as we can. Be here now. So we're gonna do three breaths of breath retention. And we're gonna be doing more breath retention throughout the practice, but we're gonna hold the breath for approximately 25 to 30 seconds. As we hold the breath, do the best you can. If it's holding too long for you, it's okay to let go. Sometimes the ego can get in the way and we start to self-doubt, but let's do our best just to release those thoughts and focus more on how can I relax my body? So let's begin. Let's take a long, slow breath in through our noses. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Seal the lips, and then let's take a long, slow, deep breath in through our noses. Feel the belly rise, chest expand, collarbones spread, shoulders down the back, long spine, relaxed face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead. Hold your breath at the top of the inhale. Now, as you hold your breath, try to relax your shoulder blades. Try to relax your head. Let the eyeballs roll upwards, about 15 seconds left. Relax your jaw. Let your collarbones spread just a little bit more. Let your lower back release. Let your hips relax. Let your legs relax. Then exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Now just taking a moment to unpack that. Just observe, remember the thoughts or the feelings of the stuff that may have came up. And I recognize sometimes we want to hurry it up. But sometimes we, it's that panic and anxiety of wanting to hurry things up where we start to get into an expectation and an outcome and all sorts of other things. All we want to do is just be in the moment. Recognize that those thoughts may be there, but we can also simply be present with the thought while also remaining non-reactive to it. So let's try this again. Do the best you can. Take a long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, side out. <sighs> then let's take a long, slow, deep breath in, <clears throat> filling your lungs all the way up to the top, holding the breath. Feel the chest expand, collarbones spread, shoulders down the back, long spine, relaxed face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead. Hold the top of the inhale. And as you hold, try to relax the head, relax the neck, let the shoulder blades drop down, relax the jaw. About 15 seconds left, you're doing great. Try not to panic. Recognize that that is just something that may come up, but it's also something we can release. And on the exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. 
smooth breath out. And eventually it gets easier and easier. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And one more. Smooth breath in. And smooth breath out. Very good. Let's do this one more time. Just one more at 30 seconds. Do the best you can. Let's all take a long, slow, deep breath in through our noses. Open the mouth, sighing it out. <sighs> take a deep breath in, filling our lungs all the way up at the top. Let's hold our breath. Sip in a little bit more air. Hold it. As you hold, relax your spine, relax the eyes, lips, mouth, jaw, back of the head, relax the shoulders, relax into your body the best that you can. And this time we're going to hold in silence. Just feel. And exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. All right. So now that you kind of got a feel for what comes up when we hold the breath, <clears throat> we're going to move into a Wim Hof method of breathing. Now, Wim Hof method, it's a little bit different online, and it's a little bit different than when it's in personal instruction. But in this practice, what we focus on is holding the breath at the base of the exhale. So what we're going to do is 30 breaths. It's going to be an inhale fully, exhale fully out the mouth. And I'll demonstrate. It'll be a... <gasps> All right, and as we breathe, we want to think about breathing in fully into the body with a forced inhalation. We're pulling the air down into the lungs, and then we use our diaphragm and our core muscles to push the air out as much as we can. You'll feel a contraction in the core muscles. Now, after the 30 breaths of breathing strong like that, I'm going to say exhale out all the air. Now, as we exhale out all the air, we're going to empty the lungs as much as we can. Now, as we empty the lungs, there's a strange feeling that may start to overcome the body. You may feel tingling in your hands. You may feel a little bit of what's called tetany, where you feel your hands tighten up. You may feel a band of softness going over the forehead. All of these things are just normal symptoms of breathing that way. So please do not panic. Now, the last part I'll add is that when we hold an exhale like that, that panic reflex is going to come up in that desire to want to <gasps> try to like gulp and come back for a breath may start to show up. So just be aware that that's going to be there. Know that you're going to be okay. Hold the breath for 30 seconds at the base of the exhale and I'll time it. And then after the 30 seconds, we're going to take a big breath in and we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. And we're just going to, I'll time that too. Okay. And again, relax into your body. Once we're done with that round, I'll say exhale out all the air and we're going to go back into it. Now, for today's purposes, 
we're going to do four full rounds of that. Do the best you can. If you have to release a little bit early, it's okay. I'm not judging you. Please don't judge yourself. Recognize that for most of us, this may be a new practice, so it's okay. All right. I'll do the best to instruct the best that I can. Here we go. I'll time it. Please take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And just breathing in and out through the mouth, begin. And exhale out all the air, empty, 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 empty the lungs all the way out. And exhaling out all the air, empty, 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 empty the lungs all the way out. Pause at the base of the exhale. Hold here, relax. Inhale the lungs, fill the breath as much as you can. Hold at the top of the inhale, 30 seconds.
and exhaling out all the air. Empty, 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 empty. Take it all out. Be with the feelings. Be with the sensations. Letting it go. And then let's start again. 30 breaths. <sighs> and strong, big breaths. Empty, empty, empty your lungs. Empty all the way. Hold to the base of the exhale. 30 seconds. Inhaling, hold the breath at the top, relax into your body. 30 seconds. And exhaling it all out, let it go. Release, release, release. Be with the vibration taking place in your body. And let's go again, 30 breaths. Do the best you can, begin. <sighs> Exhale all the air out, empty, 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 empty the lungs. And then pause the base of the exhale, hold, relax into your body. Inhale, hold your breath at the top of the inhale. 
as you inflate the lungs completely, just relax into your body. Be with the tension and all the sensations. And exhaling out all the air, empty, 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 emptying lungs. We have one more round, friends. Do the best you can. It's normal for your body to tighten up. It's normal to feel vibration and tingling. Let's work through this the best we can. 30 breaths. Let's go. Begin. <sighs> Use your core. And exhale at all the air, empty, 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 empty the lungs out. Pause and relax into your body. Be with all the many sensations. Do not panic, do not be afraid, just relax. 30 seconds. Inhale, filling your lungs all the way up your top. This time we're going to hold for about a minute. Now, if you have to relax, it's okay, but hold for as long as you can in silence. And exhale, releasing, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Now, for some of you, if you're feeling what I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot of like vibration and tingling in my hands. Uh, my hands and my forearms are still just a little bit tight. Um, there's nothing to worry about, okay? That is a normal part of the practice. You'll notice in a little bit that that will go away. But what you'll we'll also begin to notice that your breath will be a little bit deeper as you breathe. What I'd like us to do is start to move the fingers and toes about, circle the wrists and ankles, and then bend your knees slightly, roll to your right side, and we're gonna press ourselves up. And we're gonna come into a seated position. 
as we come into a seated position, we'll sit tall. And <clears throat> I'd like to do a breath with you called Veloma breath. Uh, Veloma breath means divided breath. And when we do Veloma breath, we divide the breath into three parts. We breathe into our lower belly, we breathe into our chest, and then we breathe into the um, upper region of the chest, into our collarbones, into our shoulders. Now, this is a good practice for individuals. Uh, I do this with individuals in therapy, um, especially if they're having an anxiety or panic attack, long, slow, deep breaths, but also having them focus their attention on the breath rather than focusing on whatever it is they may be anxious or stressed out about is helpful because it's a, it's a gentle diversion. And then once we can get back into the breath again, we can start to act and move in a direction that is uh, more beneficial and productive. So let's begin. We can place our hands on our knees, palms face down. And what I'll say is inhale into your lower belly and we're gonna hold there for five seconds. And then I'll say inhale again. And then we're gonna keep that inhale. We're gonna hold into our chest and you'll feel your rib cage expand. And then we'll do that one more time, breathing into the upper shoulders, collarbones, and then we'll hold there five seconds each part, all on one inhale. So let's begin. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out the mouth. <sighs> Seal the lips. Inhale through the nose, one third, down into the lower belly. Hold. Inhale into your chest. Hold. Into into the upper chest and shoulders. Hold. And then exhale, letting it go. Empty the lungs completely. Feel a slight contraction in the core muscles, breathing out the nose. Let's do that again. Inhale, breathe down into your lower belly. First one third. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the mid chest. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the upper chest, collarbone, shoulders. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Exhale it all out, empty the lungs completely. We begin again. Inhale, breathe into the first one third, lower belly. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the mid chest and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the upper chest shoulders. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Then exhale, release completely. Feel a slight contraction of the core muscles at the base of the exhale. <clears throat> Again, inhale first one third. Breathe into your lower belly. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the mid chest. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the upper chest shoulders. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Then exhale, empty the lungs completely. Feel a slight contraction of the core muscles at the base of the exhale. Few more rounds, three more rounds. Inhale, breathe down into your lower belly. Feel the belly expand, hold for one, two, three, four, 
five, breathe into the chest. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, breathe into the upper chest. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Now exhale, empty the lungs all the way out. Empty, empty, empty. Feel a slight contraction of the core muscles at the base of your exhale. Two more times. Inhale, breathe down into your lower belly. Pausing. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the mid chest. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Breathing into the upper chest. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Empty the lungs completely. Empty, 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 empty all the way out. Find a slight contraction of the core muscles at the base of the exhale. Last round. Inhale, breathe down the spine into your lower belly. Pausing. One, two, three, four, five. Breathing into your mid chest. Holding. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe into the upper chest. Holding. One, two, three, four, five. And exhale, empty the lungs completely. Good, smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And one more smooth breath in. And smooth breath out. All right. For our next breath, um, keeping consistent with this one, uh, if you join me for the last couple sessions, we've done this Bastrika breath, breath of fire. We're only going to do two rounds today but we're gonna increase the time in which we do it. So we're gonna do two rounds of a minute and a half with a 30 second break between each one. So if you're newer to the streak of breath or breath of fire, we're just breathing in and out through our nose as quickly as we can. We're engaging our core muscles and we're combining that with our diaphragm. So we're forced exhalations, forced inhalations, and it should sound like a sniffing dog breathing very quickly. So we're sort of like this. Okay? It's a shallow breath, but we're really trying to engage the diaphragm. So let's begin. We'll sit tall. You can place your hands on your knees, palms face up. I'm going to grab my timer. We're going to go for a minute and a half. If, you, if your nose gets dry or, you know, if you have to pause, that's okay, but just do the best to come back into it again. I'll do it with you. Let's begin. Inhale through our noses. Sigh it out the mouth. <sighs> Seal the lips, breathe in halfway through the nose. Close the eyes, begin.
And exhale out all the air, empty the lungs. Then take a big breath in, hold your breath at the top of the inhale, holding for about 30 seconds, relax into your body. Exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And smooth breath in. and smooth breath out. Now, pausing for just a moment, um, having done literally thousands of these classes, it's normal, uh, especially when we do a breath hold like that, um, after we've been breathing really strong and we're in a seated posture, to have that sensation or feeling that you're gonna pass out. And sometimes that panic reflex like follows that and rolls up to it. What I'd like you to focus on is just recognize that that's there. And if you really need to, you can put your hands on the ground. You can pause. If you have to, you can exhale. If you need to open your eyes, you can too. But what I've found is that that sensation can be worked with. And so instead of like, oh my God, I'm going to pass out. I can go, oh, I can start to be curious about it. Like, what is that really all about? What if I just lean into that instead of panicking? I go, oh, that's a new sensation. What is that sensation involved? And so by doing that, I find that we can really start to bring down uh, that stress and that panic that may come up. So let's, we have one more round. We'll do a minute and a half. And that's just anecdotal stuff. So please, you know, work on your own on it. Um, that's just me giving my own two cents on it. So we're gonna go for a minute and a half. Let's take a big breath in to the nose. Exhale out all the air. Seal the lips, breathe in through the nose halfway, and begin. And exhaling in all the air, empty, empty, empty the lungs. Now take a big breath in, fill your lungs all the way up to the top and hold your breath, try to relax into your body.
exhale, letting it go. Just riding the waves of feelings, riding the waves of emotion. Just feel. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. <clears throat> Now we're going to do one last exercise, and then we'll finish up for the day. Thank you all so much who are still online uh, practicing along with me. I always understand if you have to go. But this next one is alternate nostril breathing, and we're going to do a little bit of work with this. But I'm going to share a quote from uh, James Nestor from his book, Breathe, um, New Science to a Lost Art. And it has to do with our nostrils, right nostril, left nostril, and what functions that they provide through the stimulation of air flowing through it. The right nostril is a gas pedal. When you're inhaling primarily through this channel, circulation speeds up, your body gets hotter, and cortisol levels, blood pressure, and heart rate all increase. This happens because breathing through the right side of the nose activates the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight mechanism that puts the body in a more elevated state of alertness and readiness. Breathing through the right nostril will also feed more blood to the opposite hemisphere of the brain specifically the prefrontal cortex, which has been associated with logical decisions, language, and computing. Inhaling to the left nostril has the opposite effect. It works as a kind of brake system to the right nostril's accelerator. The left nostril is more deeply connected to the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and relaxed side that lowers blood pressure, cools the body, and reduces anxiety. Left nostril breathing shifts blood flow to the opposite side of the prefrontal cortex, to the area that influences creative thought and plays a role in the formation of mental abstractions and the production of negative emotions. All right, so let's do this. We're going to take our index finger, middle finger, right on our right hand to the center of the forehead. And the right thumb will be what's opening and closing the right nostril. The left in uh, ring finger, excuse me, your right ring finger and pinky finger will be closing off your left. And we're just gonna go back and forth. So let's close off our left nostril, right nostril remains open. And we'll take about three minutes together and do this. Inhale through the right nostril. Close it off. Exhale out the left nostril. Inhaling through our left nostril. Exhaling out our right nostril. Close the left off. Inhale through right nostril. Exhaling out the left nostril. Inhaling, left nostril. Exhale out, right nostril. Breathe all the way down into your belly. Inhale, right nostril. Close it off. Exhale, left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Close it off. <clears throat> Exhale, right nostril. Inhale, right nostril. Close it off. Exhale, left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Close it off. Exhale, right nostril. Inhale, right nostril. Close it 
close it off. Exhale, completely left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Exhale, close it off, right nostril. And one more round. Inhale, right nostril. Close it off, exhale, left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Exhale, close it off, right nostril. Release your right hand down. Let's just place our hands over our hearts for a moment. <clears throat> Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Again, inhaling through the nose. Sigh it out. <sighs> One more time. Inhale through our noses. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> and gently bowing our head down to our hearts. Just honoring ourselves today, our practice, if this are new to our practice, new to this practice, and just honoring ourselves for trying something new and experimenting with it. And gratitude to all our friends, families, loved ones, and supporters in our lives that help carry us forward. And gratitude to all the many blessings, gifts, and abundances in our lives. And in gratitude to the many teachers and guides that pass along these practices called breathworks. Gently release the hands down, open the eyes, lift the chins. Thanks so much, everybody. I'm going to hop up here real quick. Um, I'm going to be up here. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out. Uh, a couple of questions. Someone asked if they could Venmo. Uh, feel free to Venmo if you'd like. Uh, surf tank. Um, but regardless, I just appreciate you. I'm grateful that you're here. Uh, every Thursday, 8 a.m. I'm going to keep this class up. I feel like it's a, a good thing to continue. So I hope I get to see more of you. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. And I'll put the recording up uh, afterwards. <laughs>